Hi guys, today I'm back with a book review haul. I received, I think, six books so far this week. And this first book I'm showing you that I have just this little band marking a page, as you can see. This is The Marvel Collector by Cecilia Ahern, and I think this is her 12th book so far. I really enjoy um, Cecilia's books. You might be familiar with her book, P.S. I Love You. And so, yeah, this is her 12th book, as I said. And this book is about a mother and her father. Sorry, not a mother and a father. A father and a daughter. Uh, the father has a bit of a mysterious past that the daughter comes across quite by accident. And from what I can gather so far, it seems like it's going to be a bit of a mystery. And she's going to learn a lot more about her father than she ever realised. So from the cover, it is it is very, very pretty. I don't believe this is the finished cover. I think it's going to be a different cover. Um, but this review copy is just beautiful itself. So on to the next book. And the next book I received is The Morning Gift by Eva Ibotson. Um, apologies if I'm butchering that surname. Um, and at the top it says they weren't supposed to fall in love. Um, so I'm just going to read you a bit on the piece of paper I was sent with the book. It said Ruth lives in the beautiful city of Vienna and is wildly in love with Heine Radek, a brilliant young pianist. But her world is about to change forever. When Hitler's forces invade, Ruth's family flees to London but she is unable to get a passport. Quinn, a young professor and friend of the family, visits Ruth and in an effort to bring her back to London, he offers a marriage of convenience. As Ruth throws herself into her London life, Quinn begins to fall desperately in love with her and things are further complicated by the arrival of Heine. So this sounds really, really good. Uh, this book has been published many years ago, but it has been re-editioned. Uh, this is a new edition of this book, um, a new cover and so on. It is Pan that is the publisher behind this. And the next four books that I'm going to be showing you are by the same author and the same publisher. So as you can see, the covers of these books, they're absolutely gorgeous. And if I just tilt it a little bit, you can see on the light where the, the colours in the dress or her coat are just in the trees surrounding her in the woods. Um, the Secret Countess will falling in love uncover her past. Um, I guess I said it's by the same writer and on the sheet of paper I was sent with this book it says Anna a young countess has lived in the glittering city of St Petersburg all her life in an ice blue palace overlooking the river Neva but when revolution tears Russia apart her now penniless family is forced to flee to England armed with an out-of-date book on housekeeping Anna determines to become a housemaid and she finds work at the Earl of Westerholm's crumbling but magnificent mansion. The staff and the family are sure there is something not quite right about their new maid, but she soon wins them over with her warmth and dedication. Then the young Earl returns home from the war and Anna falls helplessly in love. Um, Sorry, that's hopelessly in love. But they can never be together. Rupert is engaged to the snobbish and awful Muriel, and anyway, Anna is only a servant, or so everybody thinks. So that's a really intriguing read. Um, and all of the covers are just as gorgeous as this one. And I'm just going to show you the next one now. Again, we have another gorgeous book, um, A Song for Summer. Um, can their love survive the war? And you can see the green in the dress and the shoes and the foliage behind the fountain is just... It's all very, very pretty. Uh, I'm just going to read you the synopsis um, that I was sent. When Ellen Carr abandons grey, dreary London to become housekeeper at an experimental school in Austria, she finds her destiny, swept into an idyllic world of mountains, music, eccentric teachers and wayward children. Ellen brings order and joy to all around her, but it's the handsome, mysterious gardener Marek who intrigues her. Marek, who has a dangerous secret. As Hitler's troops spread across Europe, Ellen has promises to keep, even if they mean she must sacrifice her future happiness. An unforgettable love story from the award-winning author of The Journey to the River Sea and the Star of Kazan. So yeah, that's another... It sounds like a very, very intriguing read. And the font is quite big, so I don't think it should take too much time to finish this. 
Um, but um, if you like any of these books or you like the sound of them, let me know in the comments and I can review them. And the next book is Magic Flutes. Um, and I don't know if the light will pick it up, but the red in the dress is also here and in the background and on, I don't know if that's a castle. And then you can just see like the Alps or at least mountains, snow-capped mountains in the back. And it says, will love stand in the way of her passion? And to read you a little about what it says, in spring 1922, Tessa is a beautiful, tiny, dark-eyed princess who's given up her duties to follow her heart, working for nothing backstage at the Viennese Opera. No one there knows who she really is, or that a fairy tale castle is missing its princess, and Tessa is determined to keep it that way. But secret lives can be complicated, and when a wealthy, handsome Englishman discovers this bewitching urchin backstage, Tessa's two lives collide, and in escaping her inheritance, she finds her destiny. <laughs> so that sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, it's just a it's just a gorgeous looking book. I can't believe that I haven't come across these books sooner, as they are older editions. Um, or it is an older book when this is just a new edition of it. Um, it is gorgeous. Like I love the tiny details that has gone into everything. Um, it really is special. I love when um, a publisher will go to this much effort with a cover because a, a, a book cover will really draw you in even before a story will or a description of a story. And lastly, I have this book, um, A Company of Swans. She thought ballet was her one true love. And then if I tilt the page a little bit, you get a better idea of the light. There isn't the same um, little kind of sparkles as there is on the other covers. But I will just tell you a little bit about this one as well. Uh, weekly ballet classes are Harriet Morton's only escape from her intolerably dull life. So when she is chosen to join a cork de ballet, which is setting off on a tour of the Amazon, she leaps at the chance to run away for good. Performing in the Grand Opera House is everything Harriet dreamed of, and falling in love with an aristocratic exile makes her new life complete. Swept away by it all, she is aware that her father and intended fiancé have began to track her down. So this sounds like a book that's kind of going to keep you at the end of your seat. Um, there sounds like a very, very good plot here. Um, so yeah, I am very much looking forward to reading these books. I'm tempted to read uh, some of these back to back. Um, they, are, they sound very good. I, it's been a while now since I've read one of her books, so... It may take me a little bit of a while to get back into the, the her writing style again. Um, so if you want to see, as I said before, a review of any of these books, please let me know. And if you haven't already, please click the subscribe button and the like button. Thanks guys. Have a lovely day and I'll talk to you again real soon. Take care. Bye bye.